Jesus. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of the message entitled, There is something, there is something about the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love this name. Some people may have thought Evangelist F. Baxter is crazy, but I'm excited about this name because this name is above all name. And this is the only name that if you die serving Jesus, there is hope for a change and eternal life. No matter how great the name may be, it may be a company name, it may be a person name, but no matter how great the name may be, and some names are powerful because when the name is called, the price goes up. Uh, but I want to let you know that there is no company that if you die can bring you back. There is no company that can bring us back if we die. But there is no human being, there is no king, there is no priest, sir. there is no one down here. There was no one that ever existed that if you die can bring you back. But I come to tell you something that there is power and deliverance in Jesus' name. St. John's chapter 11, when Lazarus was dead after three days and his body was now being decomposed. He was dead as dead can be. And ladies and gentlemen, Jesus' day is so powerful and great. And, and, and Jesus, they call him, but he didn't come when they call him because he know there is power in his name. He was Stay, he stay where he were doing things for others and Lazarus' friend died and when he came everybody was sad and some of them get mad and said Lord had you been here our brother wouldn't have died now you come talking about you are the resurrection and the life now you come talking about you are the resurrection and the life and you are talking about the last day but I'm miss my brother and the bible said jesus wept but ladies and gentlemen jesus name is so powerful and so great that mary and martin knew that had it been there their brother wouldn't have died and somebody said jesus came late but jesus was so powerful that when he came even though they thought he was late he was still in time and when jesus came he said where have you laid him and somebody said he don't understand that this man is dead as dead can be and Jesus said, where have you laid him? And Martha said, come on, Jesus. He, you know, okay, let me show him where we laid him. And when Jesus get there, the Bible said Jesus wept, but he didn't just wept. Jesus is so great, he saw a problem. I love this name. When Jesus see a problem, he do something about it. Jesus saw a problem because many people was there crying and many people was there sad and many people was there feeling bad. But Jesus stayed calm. He didn't get mad because he know there is power in his name. Hallelujah. And when Jesus was there, he said, he said, roll away the stone. And somebody said, Jesus, Jesus, you don't understand. And Mary and uh, Martha said, come on, come on. He must be stink by now. So if we, if we roll away the stone. Hmm? If we roll, if we roll away the stone, the, the scent of his stench will be scented. Lord, don't you hear what I say? He have been dead for over three days. And Jesus still said, roll away the stone. Jesus is so powerful and Jesus is so great. I love him. Notice what Jesus said. He said, roll away the stone, ladies and gentlemen. Even though they told Jesus that he was stink, Jesus still said, roll away the stone can i tell somebody your situation may be dead your situation may look stink to some people but jesus is saying roll away the stone hallelujah notice notice jesus with me for a minute just just don't notice jesus with me for a minute jesus <laughs> i love this name called jesus jesus did not let what they say stop him from do what he wanted to do when Jesus said, roll away the stone, I love this name called Jesus. They said, Jesus, if you roll away the stone, the sting is not going to smell good. If you roll away the stone, you're going to, the smell going to kill you. It's so terrible. I love this name called Jesus because Jesus didn't pay attention to too much of what they were saying. Jesus has a plan and Jesus came with a plan. I'm so glad. I love this name called Jesus that human, this human opinion don't determine Jesus' plan. Human opinion don't stop Jesus' plan for our life. Human opinion does not determine what Jesus will do for a man or a woman. Just because somebody said Lazarus was stink don't mean that Jesus not gonna bring him back 
I love this name just because they said Lazarus is stink. Jesus did not stop with the plan that he had. He did not came to Lazarus while he was alive. Jesus prayed and he said, I'm glad that I wasn't there so I can come farther that these people can see that you are God and God alone. Had he not did, I would not be able to do what I want to do now. Jesus did not allow people opinion to allow him to make a decision based on what they say. They say Lazarus stink. But well, Jesus did not stop. Jesus did not let the word that he was stink stop him from doing what he wanted to do for him. I declare to somebody today in Jesus name that the idea and the thought of men and women what they think of you in most cases not the plans and what Jesus have in mind for you when I look at Lazarus as I read when I look at Joseph sorry when I look at Joseph in the Bible I'm coming back to Lazarus hold it right there when I look at Joseph in the Bible I notice his father in Genesis see Joseph as a lovely son he see Joseph as a whole age son and a wonderful son and he sees Joseph as a wonderful young boy but his brothers his own blood brother see him as a daddy's boy they see him not they don't see him as a good person that's why in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, when Joseph went to visit his own brothers, they put him in a pit. They wanted to kill him and somebody said, don't kill him. And so they placed him in a pit. And notice they decided to sell him for they didn't value him. Hmm? They didn't value him. And so when somebody look on us and they may value us and think we're this or that, I love the fact that Jesus don't watch that. They see Joseph as worthy to be a slave. And Mr. Potiphar who bought him saw him as a good slave. But his wife didn't see him as just a good slave. She was looking with one eye saying here comes a secret boyfriend. But praise God Almighty. God Almighty did not see Joseph as just a man to be down in Egypt God did not see Joseph as just to be a prisoner when he get locked up for something that he didn't do but God see him gonna be a prime minister next to the king what am I saying it don't matter how somebody look at you it don't matter how somebody describe you and talk about you and describe you as the worst and stink and dirty and have no hope if Jesus see you different if Jesus see something in you and I different even though people may say you are stink Lazarus is stink watch Jesus how he work he still said roll away the stone and when they roll away the stone I love this name called Jesus Jesus I love this name called Jesus. Hallelujah. When Jesus, when they roll away the stone, and I just want to pause here and park right here in St. John's chapter 11. Can I park here? I'm talking about, there is something about this name called Jesus. And I, Evangelist F. Baxter, from the Zion's Wild Broadcast, love this name called Jesus. Dear Jesus, at this moment, take my life, take my time, take my mind, take this person time on their mind and grant them a blessing through your word in Jesus name can I park in St. John's chapter 11 can I park there for a while I'm talking about there is something about this name called Jesus so can I park there for a while hallelujah stand by Hallelujah. I love this name. 
there is something about the name of Jesus and somebody might think I'm crazy but it's all right because I know there is power in the name of Jesus when you experience when you experience the blessings and the, the love of God there is a conviction that leads to conversion and I evangelize Baxter love this name called Jesus and until I end, I will believe and trust in this name called Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, watch him at the temple, at the graveside. Sorry, at the graveside, not the temple. Watch him at the graveside. He came at the graveside and he, he told the folks to roll away the stone. Notice something I love about Jesus. People opinion do not make him make a decision i love this name for there is something about this name this name is so powerful that angels bow before him hallelujah notice jesus at the graveside in saint john's chapter 11 jesus in verse 40 jesus say unto her martha he said unto martha ah uh, he said didn't i tell you hmm? he said if thou wouldest believe thou shouldest see the glory of God Jesus is talking after he just done cry because the Bible said Jesus wept in verse 35 of St. John's chapter 11 now in verse 40 Jesus said I told you you know if you believe you will see the glory of God verse 41 St. John's chapter 11 I love this name called Jesus Jesus tell them take away the stone in verse 39 and they listen to Jesus because when he speak just down to the wind and the wave obey his will <laughs> when he speak the thunder have to shut up when he speak the raging wind got to calm and hallelujah Jesus spoke to them and they start to listen in verse 41 the Bible said uh, St. John's 11 then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. And But uh, because of the people which stand by, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Hallelujah. He's praying. <laughs> And when he has thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came both bone, hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound, was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Hallelujah. I love this name called Jesus. Notice something about this Jesus. Jesus could have loosed him by himself Jesus could have rolled away the stone by himself but when Jesus bless us ladies and gentlemen I love this name he don't just bless us for ourselves hallelujah when Jesus bless us he bless us for people to know he bless us for our life to be a testimony he bless us for others will see that there is no other name there is no other way Baxter couldn't make it, Mr. Brown, Mr. Wright, Mrs. Black couldn't make it had it not been for the grace of God. We would have been dead a long time ago. Coronavirus would have killed us. Had it not been for the grace of God, the devil and the trickster would have destroyed us. Had it not been for the mercies of God, the terrible, the dangerous plans that the devil had would have destroyed us. Had it not been for God's grace, that accident would have killed us. I love this name. Hallelujah. Jesus, when he blesses us, is for others to see that there is no secret what God can do. What he did for Mrs. Black or Mrs. White, he have the power to do for Mr. Baxter too. Jesus is so great that he could have rolled away the stone by himself, but he told them to come roll it away. He want to show us that we have a part to play in helping others to be saved. We have a part to play in spreading the gospel. We can testify. We were at the graveside when Jesus called Lazarus' name. 
We were at the graveside when he came from the grave. We saw him, oh, he was tied up. We saw him, oh, he was wrapped up. We can testify. We loose him. We set his hand free. We take the ropes or we take whatever was binding him. We loose him. So when Jesus bless us, it's not just for us personally. It's for us to go all over the world. Hallelujah. I love this name. And as I speak to you in this message, I'm going to say something. God Almighty is speaking to you. He loves you. And he is willing to set you free. He loves you. And just like he set Lazarus free, whatever is binding me and you, Jesus have the power and he's willing to set you free. Hallelujah. Are you willing to be set free? Oh, hallelujah. This, if this message has been a blessing to you, why don't you share it? Because I know God is speaking to you. I know God is speaking to somebody today. I don't know why I get up this morning with this burden in my heart, but God is speaking to somebody that there is something about this name called Jesus. There's deliverance and there is Lord of mercy. There is a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. There's a breakout and a break off in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I love this name called Jesus. And as I'm speaking to somebody, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but Jesus know who you are. He want to set you free. He set Lazarus free. And if he set Lazarus who was dying for over three days and was now being decomposed. He have the power to set you free. Whatever is binding you and me. Jesus have the power to set you free. I come to tell somebody trust Jesus. He will set you free. I love this name called Jesus. He loosed the man. He said loose the man and let him go. Lazarus story was a testimony. Lazarus story is a testimony today. When Jesus touched you and me, even if we die living for Jesus, hallelujah, people will remember that it was Jesus who set us free. I don't know what your circumstances may be. I don't know what you're going through. But I'm encouraging you today in this message or tonight, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Jesus love you. He want to set you free. He died for you. He died on a tree. He died for you. And he died for me. He died for you. That we can be free. He died that we can have life and have it more abundantly. I encourage you. Trust in God and do the right. I encourage you. Remember there is deliverance and power in the name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you to trust Jesus. I want to let you know in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. Jesus after he rose from the grave he said in Revelation 1 verse 18 you see him again the Bible said Jesus said I am he that was dead but now I'm alive forever Jesus is saying I was dead once but I overcome death but the grave could not hold me the Satan and his evil angels couldn't control me and death couldn't con to death couldn't contain me and so i rose from the grave after i die after i die i rose from the grave and i have the keys over death and hell jesus is saying to you at this very moment wherever you are right now i love you and i'm willing to open the door for you i love you and i'm willing to set you free i love you and I want you to come home because hurt have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And coming to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the best deal. For what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus that was shed in Calvary. I love this name. There's something about this name. Because of the death of Jesus, life don't have to be an endless pain with a painful end. But St. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, Life can end with eternal life. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6 23. But the gift of God is eternal life. Come out of sin. It's getting late. Come out of sin, Baxter. Come out of sin, Mr. Brown. Jesus is saying, Isaiah 1 verse 18. Come now. 
right now let us reason together let us talk about the sin problem god is saying come out of sin my brothers my sisters hallelujah as i speak to you it don't matter how good i may sound or you may sound if we keep living in sin we'll not be saved i love this name because jesus came he died in shame he did not come to look for fame but he died in shame he died in shame that you and i can live he died in shame that you and I can have life and have it more abundantly. And what can wash away our sins? And nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can make us pure within? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus today. Please don't turn him away. The Savior is waiting to enter your heart door. Why don't you let him in? I love this name called Jesus. If you love him, give your life to him share this message with someone and encourage them and tell them that there is something about this name called jesus angels bow before him heaven and hurt adore him and evangelist f baxter is trying to exalt and praise and share the word of god join me and share this word with somebody in jesus name hallelujah in jesus name hallelujah we share a lot of things. Why don't you share this message in Jesus' name? Send it all over. Let people know in spite of the fires, in spite of the pandemic, in spite of the hurricanes and the tornado that is coming and the sickness and the disease and the famine, because of the many damages that have been caused by flood and fire, food shortage will be a problem. The locusts in Kenya, in Africa, the problems all over the world, Nigeria, different places. Short of food is coming. Loss of job will be a problem. Hallelujah. We need Jesus. And I'm telling somebody, there's something about this name called Jesus. He will supply our needs. And when you come to him, it's the best deal. He promised never to leave you. He promised if you come to him, he will save you. He's calling you right now. Come on. Come home. He who are weary, come home. Many of you used to be in the church of God and you left. I don't know why you left. Maybe somebody says something and you get vexed or somebody hurt you badly. But I'm encouraging you, come back home. But there is something about this name called Jesus. Jesus can take us from the gutter mouse and he can lift us up. Jesus can turn a loser into a winner. Jesus can turn a mess into a message. Come back home. Come back home. Come back home. Hallelujah. Come back home. I love this name called Jesus. This is Science One Broadcast. With evangelists and Baxter sharing the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.